What's up guys, Franco Mobile Homes here and today we're talking about the skirting of the mobile home and that's what we're working on right now. So what's happening is this guy is measuring out so that we have a protective layer. After they do the inspection of setting all the piers here and the inspection's cleared, then we can close up this underneath of the home. So this home is above the ground as you can see. And now that everything's all cleared, all the plumbing's done, all the HVAC's done, electrical, um, and all that stuff, the sewage is, is all completed. We're gonna build out the skirting so that it looks like one whole body of a home that's right here. There's a treated layer of wood. This first layer of wood is treated to protect from any termite or wood damage from getting from underneath the hole into up there. And they're treating the protective pieces of wood here, which is what he's measuring out to be able to cut so that they can be supported all the way throughout the hole. So I'll show you on the other side where they're cutting the treated wood. This is what it looks like when they have the treated wood laid. So the skirting also protects the home from any critters that try to get underneath the home, uh, whether it's rodents or anything like that, from, um, from gnawing at any of the plumbing or anything like that too. Uh, and it also helps insulate the bottom of the home as well. So here's the second part to that. So I'm here on the next day after showing you the skirting. It's raining outside. But so as you can see, the skirting is all finished off. So after they put those pieces of wood, they'll slap on that wood and nail gun this through. So the, those wood pieces are there to secure this skirting up against it. But this is the primer layer, this, this skirting. It's fiber cement. It's not wood, so it's termite proof. It's also fireproof. Um, and very weatherproof. So it has elements of cement so that it doesn't rot or anything like that. So very sturdy. So it's a primer. This yellow color is the primer and then gonna paint it to match so it all looks like one single piece. And you can see it here. Guys, now we are looking at the final day for the skirting. As you can see, it's been repainted. And this is what the completed scope looks like. Uh, once the skirting's completed, it really meshes and blends that home. There's of course different levels and different types of skirting. But as you can see here, when you color it all the same, you can really, uh, it really looks quite nice. Now, if we compare, this is a foam skirting right here. Uh, so it's a textured foam, which you can kind of see on the older school kind here. but there are different types of skirting, but that's how the skirting is done for these newer mobile homes. You can see this one as well. Um, it blends better when there's a lap siding on top of each other, and it works as a perfect example. But this is the one we just finished, which is completely flat. It's more affordable on the newer ones to just have that flat texture uh, for those. And yeah, 